Dying for Heaven is about Iran and the bomb. I have no doubt that in the next 10 years, Iran will have nuclear weapons. And the big question is, will they use those weapons? The book tries to understand what it is about religion that makes people self-destructive. China has the bomb, Russia has the bomb, but we assume that they're not interested in self-destructing. So it's religion that makes people more dangerous if they have nuclear arms. The main reasons that people commit suicide terrorism is religion. There's some issues of poverty, social estrangement, uh, maybe just unhappiness. But those factors are just too shallow. The, the true reasons that people are willing to self-destruct for a purpose is religion, and more specifically, certain religious values. Surprisingly, I find in my research that those values are not hatred or belief in heaven or hell. It's positive values. People self-destruct because of the love of God or because of loyalty, honor, self-sacrifice to the community. Very positive values cause people to want to self-destruct and kill others in the process. The defense community is still operating on the assumption that our enemies are acting due to military considerations and that religion is a factor only in the same way that economics maybe is a factor or politics. The vocabulary for understanding religious motivation are not there yet. And therefore, as I reach the defense community, and I've already been in contact with several groups, I try to get them to understand that religious discourse and religious motivation tends to be positive, affirmative, uh, even loving, and nonetheless very dangerous. And that's a hard trick. That's very difficult to persuade, you know, hard-nosed, cold warriors about the true effect of religious belief on military action. In the 21st century, religion is going to be probably the number one factor in international affairs.